All right, what's up everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna talk about this really cool tool. It's the XP Pen tablet, and I use it for video editing. But more important is, I start to use this tablet because I noticed that I had a lot of pain in my wrist. All right guys, so enough talking. Let's go into the software and I'm gonna show you all the shortcuts that I use for DaVinci, but you can customize your shortcut for Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, DaVinci, any software that you want and it works just perfect. There comes a software with this tablet. So right up here you can download it on uh, Google. Um, this is the software guys and I will show you today what it all means so it's pretty simple we just start with the first setting that is your work area right and in here you can decide your work area on the plate on the tablet right up here and um, for example i am left-handed when you start up you will get your um, tablet right-handed so if you go to rotation settings it will uh, they will put it on zero and you see if I go to the left my mouse is going to the right and I don't want that I want to go to the left and I want my mouse also to go to the left so I just will uh, hit 180 degrees and then it will flip and now it is left-handed right up here you can set the tab uh, tablet area tablet uh, proportion a full tablet area if you're working with multiple um, screens or monitors you can decide which monitor you want to uh, have a look on right up here I'm only working with one so that is just fine I will hit on OK and then we go to the next setting and here you can add your applications so you see that I already installed DaVinci Resolve and um, you can uh, hit on the plus button you're gonna browse and then you're gonna add your software I believe you can, no, I'm almost sure that you can work with Premiere Pro as well. The uh, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, Final Cut, I don't know, but um, yeah. So for now, we're only going to work in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, then you can customize your pen up here. And um, yeah, I just left it, uh, my, uh, the upper this button right up here it's my left click and the button down here is my right click then guys you can decide the pressure of your pen so what you're gonna do so the technique to go to left and to the right on this tablet is in the begin a bit weird right so what you're gonna do is basically you're not gonna uh, if you want to go to the left and to the right you're not gonna put the pen on the table uh, on the tablet all right that's not gonna work because you need to put the pen above the tablet but it doesn't need to touch the tablet and then your hand is the mouse so pretty cool all right so uh, if you want to test your uh, pressure you just simply gonna hit something and then you drag it all the way to the right so I'm pushing it right now I'm pushing really hard but usually I just do something like this all right so you can decide your hardness you can put it all the way to soft or you can put it all the way to hard you can also customize it all by yourself but this is a really a personal uh, thing also the mouse mode so I put it all uh, the way to fast because I want my mouse to go really quick to the left and to the right and then we go to the shortcuts keys because uh, you can customize all the buttons right up here you can customize your roller touch and this is very helpful if you want to work in DaVinci really quick so uh, for example the left button on the top is all you see right up here you see that's K1 all right so here you see K1 and you go and you say customize and you can see that you can customize it all by yourself. So input, input from the keyboard. Uh, so you just type on your shortcut. So in my case, that is the E 
from an endpoint. So I set there an E from endpoint and I hit OK and you can customize everything and I will show you that in a minute how I did that in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, you can also customize this uh, roller touch. So a really cool thing is that this roller has two functions. On top of here you see the touch roller and you can roll uh, like physically. <laughs> you can really roll the thing. Yeah, and you can also customize your uh, roller as well and the same for your touch. Okay, I did this. So now let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. All right, okay. right up here I have two clips, all right? So um, I created already a shortcut for my in and out point. So double click and I already created a shortcut for my play button and pause button. So let me show it to you right now. So I have um, the play button on the left side up here and my in and out point on the top side, All right? So let's say play, stop. Let's put an end point right up here and stop right up there, an out point, and then I can drag it to my timeline, all right? I can also decide to make a shortcut to import it straight to the timeline, but normally I have a different workflow. I always put all the clips um, and I will do it in outpoint on my keyboard because I still use my keyboard a lot, all right? It's just, these two things are just really amazing. All right, so let's do that for the other clip as well. All right, play, uh, let's go a little bit further. Now uh, let's, let's take it right up here and in point, play, stop, out point. Let's drag it to the timeline. All right, one other cool uh, function I have with my roller up here is that if you want to zoom into your timeline, it's just really quick and I use this a lot. You just simply roll to the right. If you want to zoom out, you roll to the left, okay? So let's take this one. Let's put it to the left. And let's zoom all the way out. Let's zoom all the way in. So pretty cool up here. So let's say I want to make a cut, all right? Let's say I want to make a cut right up here, zoom out. Then I just simply hit this button and I created a cut and stop right here and I want to make a cut as well over there. Let's say I want to delete this part and I just simply hit on delete and it is gone. So let's say I want to have this little clip back into my timeline. I just hit Ctrl Z and easy it is. It does the job and it does the job really good. Good. I need to say guys, um, if you have the hang of this, you can work really, really precise, all right? Um, so I work a lot in the edit page and in the color page, so I have a shortcut for that as well. So down right up here, I have two buttons. My right is my color page, my left is my edit page. You can customize this. This is my own uh, preferences. I really love these buttons. Maybe in the future I will change some things, but for now it is just perfect. Another thing I have, and that is the uh, button on the pen. If I, for example, click on this clip and I hit my right button on the pen, it opens this um, task menu bulk up here and I can decide whatever I want. But if you've done the job, you uh, have a shortcut for almost everything in here. All right guys, so that was the video for today. If you are considering buying this tablet, you can always click on the link below and that way you will support my channel. All right, if you have any questions about this tablet, you can always put them in the comments and I will help you further. I wish you a beautiful day and thanks for watching. Until my next video, bye.